hey guys what's up so in this lesson i'll be talking about important topics in geography this is the part 1 and let's start so if you follow me on an academy on this link it will be great you can watch all the courses made by me secondly you can also review rate and comment in the section below so that we can improve the quality of the courses so core areas of geography as i already spoken about they include physical geography world geography and indian geography so the list which i am providing it is like indicative it is not exhaustive it will help you in preparation but uh, just don't like completely think that these are the only important topics and there is nothing beyond that it's not like that so important topics include location and extent of india like latitude longitude etc then solar system is there then the planet uh, there latitude longitude international boundaries like what are the all countries which with india share the land boundary earth movement day and night etc then important topics to includes like standard time and time zones how they are divided whether you gain time or lose time when you move across international date line from west to east and east to west then there is global heat imbalance drainage system includes like the rivers tributaries etc uh, types of drainage pattern obviously like there is you will read about the in drainage course then there are oxbow lakes what is an oxbow lake you need to remember these kind of terms river basins what is a river basin uh, then himalayan rivers indus rivers ganga river system there are a lot of river systems in india brahmaputra river system uh, near arunachal now east flowing rivers of peninsula and west flowing rivers there are hardly any river which are east flowing most of them are west flowing uh, sorry most of them like they go to bay of bengal very few go to arabian sea uh, inland drainage is there like what is inland drainage and what is outland drainage what is river regime in india interstate water disputes very 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 important interlinking of rivers is happening a lot so what is the benefit of it what are the pros and cons why are some state against it why are some in favor of it what are deserts what are the types of deserts what are the deserts in india where are they cold deserts hot desert etc now land and water resources what are the resources available to india now land resources in india distribution of ground water again a very very important concept irrigation very very important it is mentioned in gs paper 3 also directly then hydropower precipitation all these are very very important what are the type of precipitation which area of the india receive highest precipitation low precipitation monsoon then like these are the topics which if they are mentioned in the news you should read those news now types of rainfall what are the types of rainfall what is orographic rainfall it is has something to do with mountains or not conventional rainfall monsoon rainfall what is frontal rain formation of front happens and then rain occurs what are planetary winds all these pressure belts all these things you need to know now what is land breeze what is sea breeze what is the difference between them how does flood management happens what what does the steps required by district administration to manage a flood properly it can be a question in a disaster management what is watershed management does it help in preservation of water then what is rain water harvesting how do you harvest the rain water which is present then what is national water mission what is the aim of national water mission why was it introduced in the first place to begin with soil again very very important what is definition of soil what are the components of soil what are the types of soil which soil is fit for what type of cultivation what type of soils are found in india what type of soil is found in maharashtra what type of soil is found in rajasthan what type of soil is found in karnataka all these are the questions which you have must have an answer to otherwise like these are the things which will make or break your exam paper then what is climate what how it is different from weather then classification of soils alluvial soil black soil red soil it red soil as i was just talking about then what is water logging how why is it bad why does it like destroy the quality of soil then what is natural vegetation then obviously like you have biomes like tropical evergreen forests and semi evergreen vegetation tropical moist deciduous vegetation tropical dry deciduous so they can ask you difference between moist deciduous and dry deciduous they can ask you definition between ever difference between evergreen and semi evergreen then tropical thorn forest mountain vegetation etc then forest cover in india then what is the national forest policy of india what are the components of national forest policy of india why is it important uh, from the exam perspective then what is social forestry 
uh, what are the components of social forestry, definition of social forestry, scope of social forestry, then again agroforestry. Now obviously this is very very important, one question is guaranteed from this topic. What are the natural hazards faced by let's say your district, your state, your village, your region, India in general? Which are the drought prone areas? What is the definition of drought? Who decide whether it is drought or not? Then what are the floods prone area? Where are the earthquakes happening? Where does tsunami happens? Where are the forest fires happening? What is tsunami? What is the definition of tsunami? Uh, when did the last happen? Which are the most prone area for tsunami? In India earthquakes happen in Himalayan region or the peninsular region? Why does not earthquakes happen in the peninsular region that often? What is shield? Why it is called as shield? Why is like Delhi due for an earthquake? Seismic gap it, as it is called. What are the waves in earthquakes? RLS, Relic waves, Love waves. All these are the things which can be asked in the form of a question and you have to have an answer. And finally for this lesson what is drip irrigation? What is sprinkler irrigation? Cropping intensity? Your cropping patterns? Wetland farming? Dryland farming? All these are very very important topics for geography. So we will continue our discussion. Thank you for watching this lesson. Have an awesome day.